welcome. I am here with my friend, Dr. Shannon, and we are doing a really cool new series called The Doctor and the Healer. Is that what we decided to call it? The, yeah. doc <laughs> the Doctor and the Healer. <laughs> um, so you and I, Dr. Shannon, decided to start this series just to talk about the body yeah. and the intelligence of the body. And um, my name is Amar, by the way. If you're new here, I have had a healing and coaching um, and intuitive practice for almost 12 years now. Um, so what I speak from is my own experience with working with clients, my own healing journey, those I've been blessed and lucky enough to work with. And so that's what I bring to the table is my intuitive, perhaps not traditional, maybe not a, a Western approach to the body and its intelligence and all the layers of self. Um, but just because it's not traditional doesn't mean it's not true. Would you agree? <laughs> I, I definitely agree and um, found you by searching for new ideas to add to my healing toolbox. That's awesome. So I'm Shannon Halico. I'm a licensed physician in California. I've been in the practice of internal medicine for adults for more than 10 years and realized quite early in my training that I was not going to have access to all the tools that I needed to help both myself and my patients have a healthy life. So back way back in my training, I started searching for tools that would really be foundations for health. And I think we're going to talk about one of those today. Yeah. So today we're going to talk about this idea of what we're calling body wisdom or like the voices of the body. And you have a really, really interesting perspective, Shannon, and I'd love for you to share it. You know, the first thing I think we can just acknowledge is that the body and the mind are two separate streams or voices of information. Would you agree that that's correct, doctor? Completely. Yeah. And one of the ways I think about the information from the body is from the many systems. So both from the nerves, the actual sensory areas of our systems, but from very mm, fine areas, um, how the digestion is feeling, how the temperature is feeling. Those are nerves also, but we don't traditionally think of them that way. And they're all sending signals back to the mind. So, so the I, is always talking to the mind and vice versa. Is that a yes. fair statement? Yeah. I would say it's a two-way street. And what we might call intuition uh, from a Western perspective would be this collection of all the signals and then the interpretation of the mind, whether it's a conscious process or a subconscious process is that culmination of all the sensory information in your body that you're aware of, not aware of, that becomes your intuition. So in a sense, your intuition, I mean, if your intuition is like an aggregate of kind of what all of the systems are, you know, kind of pouring into this singular, what we would call intuition, it's kind of like what we would talk about the vibration of someone's field. It includes their emotional self, their physical self, their energetic self, their mental self. And when people ask me about, you know, what's the vibration of someone or the frequency, I say, well, it's an aggregate of all of their systems. But if the body is having difficulty and challenges, that's going to affect the voice of everything. Is that a, would you say that's accurate? I would say that's very accurate. And I would also say, because it's a two-way street, it goes the other direction. And someone who made this quite obvious to the lay public is Dr. Gabor Mate when he wrote the, when the body says no. And, and, you know, before reading that book, I didn't realize there's a whole field of medicine and research called neuropsychoimmunobiology. Wow. That's a mouthful. Yeah. <laughs> That's a good travel word. <laughs> all those systems coming together to create both a interpretation and a signal um, and an effect on the body. So he goes through several illnesses and talks about the trend of emotional impact or trauma that those patients have had and then the result in the body. And it's still something that we're teasing out in research, but there is growing evidence that what is happening here, and I say this from a material perspective, although that's not totally my belief, but what's happening here in emotions and thoughts um, stress levels is communicated back to the body in the form of illness. Hmm. That's so fascinating.